This is Pennywise. Joan, you're next. This is Sue. Ah, hi, Sue. How can I help? Jim, I really have a problem with impulse buying. I never mm. have money left for anything. Oh, why? Jim, I really have a buying impulse problem with well, buying, okay. buying anything, anything, anything. Now, wait a minute. Go ahead and use some of that money to bring some happiness. Jim, I really have a problem. Jim, I never mm. have money left for impulse buying. A lot of people have that problem. Take cash. Good idea. I feel we really need to buy right away. After all, money is only paper and metal till you put it to use. I never hmm. have money left. But we've already decided to buy. Impulse, impulse. I really think it'll help. Good idea. Oh, thanks. Okay, let's go to line four. This is Pennywise. I'm Jim Phillips, and your name is... Bob. Hi, Bob. What can I do for you? I get confused by all the claims made in commercials. Oh, this is Pennywise. Line six, you're on. And your name is... Bob. Caller number five, you're on the air with Pennywise. I'm Jim Phillips. I get confused by all the claims made in commercials. Oh, let's go to line seven on Pennywise. Hi, I'm Jim Phillips. Bob, commercials. Oh, oh. I get confused by all the claims made in commercials. Oh, well, listen. I think your first responsibility is to yourself and your family. The what? Thanks for the call. Hello, you're on Pennywise with Jim Phillips, and you are... Bob. Okay, let's go to line four. This is Pennywise. I'm Jim Phillips, and your name is... Bob. Oh. Commercials. Hello, caller. I get confused by all the claims made in commercials. Oh, then your name is... Bob. 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 Hi, Bob. What can I do for you? The what? Go ahead. I get confused by all the claims made in commercials. Hmm, mm, you sound frustrated. It's because I am. Well, my kids and I, for example, love to build things with scrap lumber. The what? All right. Thanks for the call, Carl. Bob. Oh, this is Pennywise. Line six. You're on. Bob. Yeah, Barb. Bob. Go ahead. The claims made in commercials. Oh. I get confused. Why? I get commercials confused. <laughs> like the magic. The what? Well, many religious people follow the biblical plan of tithing. You may want to visit with your clergy about it, but of course... The what? The what? Commercials. Commercials. I get confused by all the claims. Then your name is... Bob. Yeah, that's a tough one. A lot of people have that problem. The what? Truth in advertising. I get confused. Advertising, though, can be a really good source of information because of the truth in advertising policy. The what? Because of the truth in advertising policy. The what? Truth in advertising. The what? Truth in advertising. Truth in advertising. You see, the law requires advertisers to tell the truth. The what? The truth. The truth. To tell the truth. Truth in advertising. Good point. Oh, so listen carefully to the wording of an ad. The what? The truth in advertising. The what? Well, then you have to decide if honesty goes both ways, right? After all, so... This is Pennywise. You're on the air. Hi, Bob. What can I do for you? Yeah, Jim, this is Charlie. Okay. I've got a moral question for you. The what? No, wait a minute. Thanks for the call, Bob. This is Charlie. I've got a moral question for you. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a matter for your own conscience, Charlie. I figured you'd say something like that. <laughs> All right. Why don't you give it a try this year? Okay, but they'll never catch it. <laughs> well, thanks for calling, Charlie. Thanks. This is Pennywise. Line six. You're on. Yeah, Jim, this is Charlie.